am doing my thing, I am doing my thing. I'm back again with another video regarding this auburn hair color and it's are y'all feeling it? Do y'all? Y'all see the colors in it. Y'all see the low light, the highlight. Do okay, okay. Yeah, I so I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's regarding how I color this, dye this. I had this hair for over a year and it is doing me right. I got it from Ivy Beauty Obsession. From and I will tag their Instagram down below and hopefully you like this tutorial. Today I will be using 40 volume and 20 volume developer and also L'Oreal high color magenta and the color copper and also bleaching powder that you can get from your hair store. I'm using seven scoop of bleaching powder and one cup and a half of 40 volume developer and I did this for each bundle until I ran out of product. After mixing the products together, I begin applying it on my 26 inch bundle. As you can see right now, I am brushing the product off and then I just keep brushing the product on and I flip over the bundle and did the same thing to the other side and make sure that I also brush through the hair to make sure that the product is on the whole throughout the whole hair so there is no spots missing or anything so it can be one full color right here I'm showing you the 5x5 closure that I got from that same company Ivy Beauty Obsession which they have the best 5x5 closure in my opinion that always match my tone and I will begin mixing 20 volume developer with magenta in the color copper because I ran out of bleaching product like I said before and now you can see me apply this product to my closure making sure I don't get the color on the lace because that will mess up your lace and then I also apply this to my bundle because I ran out of bleaching products Due to running out of developer, I had to use the water method to get that fiery auburn color that you see in the intro at the bottom of my wig unit. And to get that color, I used magenta and copper to blend that within the hot water to get that auburn color. So I left the bleach in the hair for a good about 30 minutes and also left that color within inside the last bundle in the closure for about 45 minutes. So now as you can see I am washing out those products in the hair and after washing the products out I use shimmering light shampoo and also any conditioner that you have in your home. As you can see I am pinning the closure with on my mannequin head so I can create my wig unit. And also after making sure that the closure is flat and perfect on the center of the wig cap which I am using the mesh dome cap also to create this wig unit I will then show you how I sewed the closure down so to sew the closure down I sewed down each of the side of the closure first so right now I'm sewing down I believe the left side then I will sew down the next side and then I will sew lastly, which is the back area of the closure. Making sure that the closure is sewn down perfectly, I will then begin sewing my first bundle which is the 26 inch bundle and today I will be using 4 bundles and I'm also sewing this, making this wig unit on a 21 size canvas head as you can see in the video and since I'm using 4 bundles I will be doubling 
three of the bundles to make sure that they all fit because I want this hair to be full and have so much volume for it to bounce all over literally bounce all over and as you can see I am sewing it as you will sew any you know beginner sew it with by basically going within the cab then going between each track like do the what and then you know loop it within so it could cause a little knot right there as you can see so I'm a person who hates when I say hate I hate cutting my tracks I would rather just flip it over so as you can see I flipped it over because I doubled the track so I didn't want it to be so lumpy so instead of bringing the whole two tracks towards the front I brought one like one of the tracks to the front so flipped it over so with a little and then went into and then flipped over the second track and so with within that track I'm not sure if you well you can see in the video basically so within that track so towards the front it will be flat but later on in the center area it will be double as you can see right here I am no longer going through the tracks I am going with under the tracks and going around the whole track after using the same sewing method going from left to right throughout this whole unit this is the finishing look let me know if you guys like the color and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below Making me sad.